I joined the Navy in 66. My first night aboard a ship on a Youngster Cruise, we left Annapolis on a flight literally the evening after the, the firsties had graduated. And so I'm a new first class midshipman. And I'm t taken by a bus to a ship in uh, Long Beach Harbor, USS Preston, DD 795. I'm shown to my stateroom, and within a very few moments after I throw my sea bag down on my bunk, the lights start dimming, the ventilation system goes down, hmm, which everybody in the Navy knows means you've lost the load. So someone's running along the deck, topside, yelling, fire, fire, fire in the emergency generator room. This is not a drill. General quarters, all hands on deck. Well, a Navy ship is supposed to have battle lanterns that come on when the power goes off. There weren't any in officer's country where I was, where I was staying. And I didn't have a flashlight. So I'm stumbling around in the dark, trying to find my way to the ladder that someone had just merely 15, 20 minutes ago brought me down. And instead of finding the ladder up, I nearly fell down a ladder down. And so I just decided that I'd get down on my hands and knees because the smoke was starting to be detectable at standing height. And so I got down on the deck and I crawled back to the stateroom, shut the door, and I had to stay there for the next two or three hours while the crew put the fire out. I never went aboard another Navy ship without a flashlight again. A flashlight is a pretty important fundamental feature. You learn in the Navy that there are, there's a rich history of nautical rituals, lingo, that is designed to be brief. And so being able to say, go get the yellow box, that's a big deal. Because inside of the little yellow box, <laughs> it's like the Swiss Army knife. You open it up and uh, there's a lot of things in there. But being able to know that there was that kind of equipment in there, that'd be a good place to go.